Hello and welcome back to part two of the introduction to Skenius pottery on my video. This is a pamphlet leaflet that I was lucky enough to pick up on a car boot sale many years ago after the company had to cease production and it's where I gleaned quite a lot of information that I didn't know before. This is just showing you some details of the shop at the Skinner's Pottery itself. It's quite well, reasonably close to the clock tower. This is just showing that the majority of the pieces were actually thrown on a potter's wheel. Uh, the only piece of machinery that they did uh, employ was a, a jig and shotty machine to, for the plates and saucers and that type of flatware. And here they are showing the one of the kilns. From memory, I think they had three, maybe four, all with various names of various volcanoes. Yeah. Glazing was done by hand, and as you can see, the pattern was done by hand as well. And they also show the TV film it was on the BBC program. And Yorkshire TV, I believe, uh, called The End of the Pier Show. It was transmitted in July 1978. And on the back, they show you some of the actual items that they produced. Um, everything from the dinner services, uh, coffee pots, teapots, casserole dishes, cheese covers, all the way down to gravy boats. Um, the the actual pottery itself was you could actually put it in the oven and also uh, was microwavable. Also the decorative ware as well, the lamp bases, uh, plant pots, various shapes and sizes of vases, even down to the piggy bank. Speaking of piggy banks, in August of every year there used to be a celebrity uh, smash, charity pot smash, where various celebrities of the day, um, like Arthur Askey, Faith Brown, Ruby Murray, would smash open the piggy banks and the money collected over the year 
would then be given, donated to charity. Also, not only did they have a shop at the pottery itself, but also they had a shop in Boston and a large shop in Lincoln, quite close to the top of Hill Street. One other thing that I did manage to track down was an article in Skegness Standard where the pottery itself was commissioned to do a commemorative plate for Mrs Lily Garner as she retired from the Landladies Association. This actually was a 12 inch wall plate with a depiction of the Jolly Fisherman in the centre. This was given to her on her retirement. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed my brief history of Skinner's Pottery. Bye.